Hi guys, I'm here in Shenzhen. Uh, yesterday we went to the Inspire One DJI launch event at DJI in, in Shenzhen. Pretty intense day. Um, there's been quite a few questions on Facebook um, that I just wanted to, to answer. Um, one is the flight controller. What is it? Um, we weren't actually told. It's apparently a completely new flight controller and they haven't come up with a name yet. Um, it's in the Inspire One. It will also be available separately later. Um, but, but no announcement, or official announcement on that as yet. Um, this one does do RAW, so you can record 4K, um, 12 megapixel um, images, stills. It's not, uh, it's actually, a, if you were look at, looking at the specs of, um, of the Vision Plus, you might say it's a smaller number, but apparently it is. they are better pictures, it's a better sensor, they're bigger pixels, if that makes sense, that's what they said. So. Um, it's got this new optical flow thing on the bottom so you can fly indoors and it will position hold. Um, you have it in GPS mode um, but when you're indoors, when you can't get a GPS signal it will use the optical flow and that works up to about 2.5 meters. It also has ultrasonic so um, rather than relying on the barometer, if you're indoors it's, it's throwing the signal down for measuring how long it takes to get back and it will hold its height that way as well. So for those people trying to do indoor shots, that's going to be amazing. Um, it's a 6S battery, lasts about eight minutes, 18 minutes. Sorry, um, <clears throat> The standard battery is right on the limit that you're allowed to take on an, an aeroplane. I think it's 99.99 watt hours. Um, they do an enhanced battery which just goes over that limit slightly and takes you up to 22 minutes. But for obvious reasons, um, they're, they're sort of restricting that a bit because it's going to be harder to transport to the dealers, it's going to be harder for you to use. Um, and obviously there's a little bit more cost, although they haven't released cost of either batteries as spares as yet. You get a standard battery with it of course. Um, the SDK stuff was quite interesting but I'll do a separate video about that. Um, obviously it's got a 3-axis gimbal, the Inspire One. It's got um, a built-in filter um, thread on the front of the camera so you can put like an ND filter straight onto it. Um, it's a CMOS. The camera is quite nice, it clips on, uh, the whole gimbal and camera assembly are one, but it clips on and you can take it off and uh, uh, they, they were tight-lipped on what exactly the upgrades are going to be, but I potentially can see um, a uh, infrared camera, thermal camera going on there as well, uh, or replacement cameras if you, if you have a damaged one. Um, when it comes down though, people have said, what, what about smashing the camera on the floor? When you come down, and it come down quite quickly, we tested it, and it will put the legs down if you like. They call it transforming when it goes from that to that. So you can come down and it will automatically land and protect the camera. So in theory you can't damage the camera. I'm sure if you were hurtling along at you know, 22 meters per second and, um, and a, a, an oak tree happened to step out on you, um, you can probably manage it, but um, it should be easy to replace. Um, you get there's two packages, one with one controller, one with two controllers. Um, they both have light bridge built in. If you have um, two controllers, you can set up one as master, one as slave, and one person is controlling the camera gimbal, and the other person is just controlling the aircraft. There's all sorts of new switches and dials on the transmitter, including light bridge out. Um, there's even a couple of buttons on the back which aren't, don't actually do anything yet. They're kind of reserved for future use. There's a CAN bus hub port. There's, it doesn't do anything yet, it's reserved for future use, so no doubt I'll come up with something weird and wonderful for that. Um, there's a tripod mount in the transmitter, so you can put a black pearl screen or similar directly into it. Um, yeah, some really, really neat features in it. Um, it's got the nice new scroll wheel for doing the um, tilt of the camera if you are operating on a single operator. Um, the app's really great, um, all sorts of new features in the app. Um, you can change the camera settings from the transmitter, like exposure and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, some really, really great stuff. Um, and today we're going to see the factory. Um, I think we're going to do a bit more flying tomorrow, Saturday morning, in a, in a garden somewhere apparently, so that should be cool. We're going to try and um, shoot some more footage and I'll try and see if we can get the memory card and actually get the footage that we shoot from on board the Inspire One. Um, great stuff. Okay. Uh, Subscribe and uh, keep watching and I'll, I'll submit more news uh, as and when I get it. Okay, thanks for watching.